Hello, monsters abound here. The most damning evidence yet that YouTube must be stopped. Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Vortex campaign and the fourth part of my Catet playthrough where I've done some renaming. Okay, so. I thought he was going to carry on. He didn't. That's fine. Thank you, Catet. Um, so we've got Jeff himself here because I was just like, you know what? It, it just kind of feels like having Jeff on our side. You can't go wrong with Jeff. Uh, I've got the casket of Dark Souls here. That's for, for, that's for Ducky, bless him. Foctum. I hardly knew him. <laughs> yeah, I chuckled to myself. And uh, Prince Panacotta. Uh, what else do I have? Uh, did we... Okay, yeah, we've got Hierophant, Hatmus Claws. And, of course, Organs, more Organs. And then I've also got un Untitled Carrion Unit right there. Yes, um, it's a lovely day in the Warhammer. Where is, it is it ever a lovely day in the Warhammer world? I reckon some days are probably just fine, aren't they? And the other days, everything's on fire. Um, but it's a lovely day in the Warhammer world, and they are a terrible unit of carrion. And by terrible, I mean they're just bad, basically. Just, just pretty pretty rubbish. Um, never mind. Right, so what we're doing is we're shoring up our, our um, public order a little bit. Public, I mean, our public order is pretty bad everywhere, mostly thanks to Chaos Cooties. I thought that was because of Marathi, but turns out actually just because of the horrible... Uh, beast, beast men who we have now dealt with they're now gone thank god for that so we dealt with them corruption is reducing public order is getting better um thanks to our uh army hatmus bringing bringing good cheer to all the little boys and ghouls because <laughs> because there are no, we don't have any ghouls but he's in titan peak that's helping shore up the public order and we've also got actually some public order here although the problem is that vampiric corruption is oh, it's actually decreasing wait is no she's still there Indeed. So Solostra is currently at Grey Rock Point. We've got um, Huatl down to our south as well. Fallen Gates is part of the Mir uh, Miracles of Topek. Uh, Topek. Tepok? Where's that? Probably down there somewhere. Um, ideally, I want to be friends with Mazda Mundi, and then I want to concentrate on heading um, north, ideally. At some point, we might have to deal with Mazda Mundi, but I feel like, at the moment, the Dark Elves are probably a bigger threat, so we need to deal with them first before we do anything else but first what we need to do is secure um this territory now in fact taking the ancient city of quintex would be really nice if we could take the territory sort of up to the ancient city of quintex i'd generally be fairly okay with that at that point i'm thinking we could potentially then look at trying to get i mean we've got one book already in the ancient city of quintex there's another book down here uh to huatl itself that was public order no, public orders wow they did almost have rebellion Lack of corruption. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Fine. So they're actually struggling with a bit of corruption over there. So, but first things first, we need to take out Solostra because she is spreading her vampire cooties. And frankly, it's revolting. So we need to put a stop to that. Um, so what we're going to try and do is, is shore up the public order a little bit and then bring both of our armies to bear on Solostra. I think together... Yeah, you are not welcome. And it's a big day for everyone. So what do you want? Non-aggression pack? Nope. None of that. Absolutely not. Only thing you're getting is a whoop, whooping of the ass. An ass whooping. That's... I wanted to say ass whooping, said whooping of the ass. That's the wrong way of saying that particular phrase. Well done, me. Ah, so the Lich Priest and Mortuary Cult have left the Necropoli in search of servants to aid them in their holy work, the incantations of preservation, blah, 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 something about bodies or bones or whatever. Uh, so we can get... Oh, okay. So we get more Winds of Magic. I mean, we're probably... Oh, it's 10 turns. Canopic Jars. We got 200. You know what? I'm just going to... Just send some servants. It's fine. That's all right, isn't it? That's all right. Um... We could get a Necrotech, but I feel like at this moment in time, it's not really going to be worth it. Now, a few people have said that what you can do is knock down the buildings and build... So, basically, once you've actually recruited the units um, up to the limits, you don't need to keep the buildings. You can actually knock the buildings down and build something else. And you, As long as you don't need to ever re-recruit the units, you're generally fine. Um, so, we could actually do that. However, although...
Although, I mean, we could up. Ooh. <sighs> Problem is, we don't have much. Okay, that's going to give us 1,200, but that's not going to be enough to build the mausoleum, is it? So the only thing we could then do is maybe build the quicksand swamps to get some cavalry, but I just don't think it's worth it. I think we're going to hold off. I think we're going to hold off. Um, so public order. Okay, so we've got four thanks to characters, nine thanks to military presence, which means if we leave the province, public order is going to start going down again. Uh, corruption is causing minus five, and that's only with 12% corruption. With only 12... Well, all right. Wait, what? It's going... Oh, it's getting worse. It's getting... Oh, because of... Sol oh, oh, no. Oh, fucking God damn it. Okay, never mind. What we're going to do... I'm kind of tempted to go cleanse corruption just because we're going to have so much to deal with it. Because like, we've got Marathi to our north. She's going to spread chaos corruption. We've got vampiric corruption to deal with. Times. Tell me about it. Tell Holy shit. Yeah, okay, let's go cleanse corruption just because... Just because I feel like we need it. I just feel like we need it. Uh, right, let's get... I mean, I, I, yeah, I think the, the Spear Boy's probably better. If we leave... Okay, we're still recruiting. Um, right, if you stay there for another turn, because public order will go down pretty slowly, but we're not currently taxing that province. Because if we do, then we won't have... Uh, the public order will collapse quicker. You're just going to stay there. Basically, that's your job. You just live there now. So, yeah, we, we need to take out Solostra. Because if we can shore up our public order, we're in a much better position than we are currently. Because we don't have the buildings to cover the public order that we need without then having to deal with corruption at the same time. Basically, need to need to stop that corruption. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna motor. Okay, minus three. That's not too bad. Fourteen. We've got fourteen turns, and we're just going to leave you there for a minute longer, because there's no point bringing you out just yet. So we're going to hold off. So Mazdamundi have taken the Fallen Gates. Do you? I don't know if you like. Oh, I don't think you've met Solostra. Have you? I don't think you. Don't think you have. The arcane currents flow strong. There is nothing you can do. I mean, I can declare war on you. So, I mean, kind of disagree with you. Disagree with you there, Solostra. Think, um, think we can do that. Does that please Mazda Mundi? It's kind of what I was hoping for. I don't think it does. I don't think he knows who Solostra is. I think if he did. I think if he did know who Solostra was, he'd probably be like, yeah, good job, nice work, guys. But I don't think he does, so... The last thing I need is to be at war with, with um, Mazda Mundi as well as Marathi at the same time, because having to defend myself from two... Oh, cut... Apo, Apo, ho, ho, Apo. That's, that's not... That's not on. Is it? You just, you just instantly died. Like, didn't even, didn't even try. Just dropped dead. First sign of trouble, just died. That's sad. Very sad. Okay, construction, advanced military buildings, or infrastructure buildings. Uh, let's improve our cities. Sure. We've got the bone edifice, which is more stuff for our thingies. That's good. Like stuff for thingies. Stuff for thingies. Some of my favourite stuff. Good. Right. We're motoring. Okay, public 37 turns there, that's fine. 13 turns there, that's fine. We should be able to reach them in a couple of turns and bop them good and proper. Right, we could free up you. That might mean getting rid of Hatmus, but could be worth it. I mean, the public order, all provinces, tax rate, all provinces, ward save. I mean, it's all, it's all, it's all good. It's all good. 
Is there anything that just buffs bog standard skeletons? Because. I mean, that gives ward safe melee attack and defense for Hyro Titans, Tomb Guards, Screaming Skull Catapult, Necropolis Knights. Necropolis Knights, and yep, yeah, okay, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, maybe. Because we could always do this. So that would give Frenzy... For, okay, we don't have a new Shabti. Death Blow for... That's not that useful. Hawkish Precision. Okay. Vanguard Deployment for Skeleton Chariots. Okay. I don't think any of that's particularly useful right this instant. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for Rakash of the Second Dynasty. Let's do that. Get him. Might replace him with Hatmus, but... I feel like, you know, Hatmus, Mary Hatmus, plus he's a Shadow Wizard, and I kind of, kind of like him. What are you doing, Richard? What what What's the plan? Bugger off. Go and harass someone else, Richard. I've got stuff to do. Solostra to kill. The fact that you beat up my poor rubbish light mage. Okay, so we got him. Sign an aggression pack with those guys. Nope. Don't want them. Oh, we're going to take attrition. That's, um, that's sad. What about if I do this? We can do some raiding. In fact, I mean, like, raiding's not the worst idea. Because, I mean, that's going to give us income, right? Income goods. How much? Seven. Five turns. It's a bit too spicy for my, my likings. Oh, it's going down ten. Four turns. Okay. Okay, well, well, we'll make some money. So that's that's fine. Making money, good. What do we want? Sixth Dynasty. Ushabti. I, 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 Ushabti are good. However, I kind of want to go... I mean, the, I, I've got the Hyro Titan. I've got Jeff, right? I've got Jeff. Like Jeff. Do we want more Jeffs? Well, we can't really get more Jeffs at the moment, so it's probably not. It's probably not. Construction time. Hmm. Ushabti capacity. Now, we can get Ushabti fairly quickly. So someone who gives us more is just better. So let's get Wisdom of the Fourth Dynasty. Because we'll get higher, we'll get buffs for, for Jeff as well. And everyone wants buffs for Jeff. Everyone loves a bit of Jeff. Right, go and murder Solostra. Kick her out. Jobs are good and one less threat to deal with. As long as Mazda Mundi doesn't brutally fucking murder me. I'm, I'm trying very hard. Not The problem is I don't really have much... I, I can't give him any money because I don't have any. I can't really do much to help him out. I could declare war on his enemies, but... The problem is I don't want them to attack me. I'm kind of in the middle of stuff. Right, what's this? Lich Priest buried. Oh, okay. Um, action cost. I mean, sure, bury him. Judas Priest, eh? Right. We can reach, so let's go for it. You are there. Don't be shy. Get in there. There we go. Right. That's right. Get a good encircle there. That's fine. And then we get Hierophant. Okay, it's Hatmus. Have you been good, little boys and ghouls? Oh, wait. Hang on. He's got a skill point. Katep has got a skill point. So we go Sun Scorched Bone. I think we probably should. More melee defense. So that means that our Skellingtons have got 22 armor and 40 melee defense. Which actually, that's not actually too bad. That's actually, you know, generally pretty good. 
You can't go wrong with that. Okay, what have they got? They've got deck droppers. They've got bloated... Like, bloated corpses are annoying. Solostra, of course, has has spells. Uh, so many uh, damn knights. Well, I've forgotten about those things. Ugh. Jesus. Tide call. Okay, at least she doesn't have the, the shippy gunny spell. Because that thing is... Mean. Okay, let's finish off Solostra. Honestly thought Slostra would be harder to take out. So this is actually really useful. Last thing I needed was Slostra to just really hang on in there. But it turns out I think we might be able to beat her in just one quick battle. Because although she has a lot of shooty, shooty boys, and she's got some boom boys as well. So these bloated corpses will just basically explode. Run up to you and pop and do a lot of damage. But frankly, I'm, I'm not even... I don't really care that much because, like, they, they wipe out a unit. So? It's not like I really give a toss. They're skeletons. I mean, they're literally expendable. So we've got some units coming up. They do have some depth guard, but I'm not overly concerned about those. There's only one unit. We've got the, uh, the carrion units and also the untitled carrion unit coming around behind to try and knock out the car carronade. Carnage, something like that. Nice little uh, skull storm could have come out there. Do quite a lot of damage. Look at the health go down. Very, very nice. Archers opening fire. We've got the Mongols attacking. Uh, we've got two lines of infantry. We've got spears behind and then a front line. Little pendulum going to do. Some, look at that. Oh, I do love shadow magic. And there's Salostra herself. She's going to get some shots in. Uh, we've got a nasty boom boy hit over there. Um, which did save our skeletons from the, the magic, which was nice. Um, but, of course, they did explode, so that was not so nice. Uh, Jeff, though, has spotted Solostra. Now, Solostra, of course, is a ghost. So she's got a lot of physical resistance. Um, however, Jeff is all magic. That's right. He's a magic man. He's got magic hands, which means he can bitch slap the shit out of Solostra. It's not even going to be close. He's going to absolutely murder her. Yeah, already she's not having a good time. She's, like, he's just lasered her face off. I mean, that's... Yeah, she, she, she's dead. And in come the chariots, finally coming around behind the enemy army. Not, and, I mean, the enemy army's, like, so busy with our frontline units. And, of course, they're, they're zombies. The one thing worse than skeletons is zombies. And this army is mostly zombies, which means, actually, this is one of the few armies where we can actually go, you know what, troop quality is on our side. That's one of the few times I'm going to be able to say that. The carrion, having done, actually, you know, basically... The only thing they can do, which is take out cannons. And even then they get stuck. Look. <sighs> Defeated by cannon placement. Not that it matters, because with Solostra's death, what's left of our army is starting to crumble away. And although our army took fairly considerable damage, um, it was Skeletons who gives a flying toss. So we are just going to slowly just mop up the last few remaining units. Come around into the forest over here. You can see the, the carrion not doing very well against the zombie pirate gunnery mob. Um, but the chariot is going to come and help out. Surrounded in our numbers, these zombies are going to start crumbling away. And just really their leadership left to deal with. They do have, there's a gunnery white over here. He's been taking pot shots at us for a little while. Um, but he's very soon going to be... Yeah, he's he's now he's now by himself. So um, he's just going to die out of shame. That's one threat dealt with. And actually only lost a few units of Skellingtons. Mostly, I think, thanks to the big boomy boys. But I wasn't really paying attention to where they were. So who cares? I kind of want the cash, but I'm just going to occupy. Siren extinguished. So we get a slight increased miscast base chance, but a lot more winds of magic and less enemy winds of magic. So quite a nice trait to f to have there. Um, we now control the entire province, so we get some more money as well, which is excellent. And I don't know who this guy is, but apparently he keeps bossing me around. So that's fun. Uh, right, Vampiric Corruption is dropping. There is some Vampiric Corruption thanks to local populace, but it's going to drop down to 5.3%. Some from Skaven Osmosis. Where the fuck is that from? Iron Spike? 
Tyrant Peak? Not sure. Somewhere. Okay, we'll deal with that. Um, first things first, let's get the mausoleum here. Um, is that going to help with public order? No. No, it is not. Unfortunate. But not unsurprising. What we can... Okay, Panacotta. Yeah, ex okay, good. You can have hard to hit. Kind of thinking, let's trade you. In fact, I'm going to take all of your... Why am I taking the damaged ones? If I do that... That fills out your army, and that means Hatmus can rush back to Titan Peak to shore up the public order. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, we don't have any trade at the moment, although, of course, if we have the, the stuff... So, is there anything we can get with just wine? I don't think there is. If we get exotic animals, we can make Potion of Speed. Is that useful? Yeah. Get the scroll of leeching with wine. Okay, can we actually... S I wish you could, like, see what you can get with the different resources. I don't think wine actually gives you a huge amount. A helmet of Kassar. As long as we had salt as well. The elixir of might. You know what? That's not actually too bad. Only one use, but 36 seconds. Lots of melee attack and weapon strength. I mean, pretty good if you want to try and brutally murder someone. The heretic jar is regeneration. That's not bad. We need pots for that. Where's the closest pots? Closest pots is Swamp Town, all the way down there. Well, I'm not going to rush to get it. Because we can get it. We can get a trade agreement with the, um, with the doobie doo. I'm going to get Cleanse Corruption, just because I want it. Um, but we do have some little bits. Of, we could grab these bits, maybe even fight the battles, see what they're like, and see if we can grab it. I'd like Hatmus to come up and grab Tyrant Peak. Um, Hatmus is then going to have to defend this area. Now, I'm going to wait until Apahod Ap is back. Maybe we can take on Bleak Hold. I don't know who's Iron Spike. I might need to search that out. It could be Skaven. I've got a sneaky suspicion. Could be Skaven. We've also got this entire area here. Public order would be quite nice, but I'm thinking growth would be more useful. Should we get growth? Because I mean, the thing is, we can't use it at the moment, can we? I mean, growth is never not useful, unless obviously your cities are full, in which case it's not so useful, but it is useful at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and take... There's a Skull Island there. We're going to go and take Katep and go and just hoover up some bits at sea, because that should then give us some income to build up our armies, to make ourselves stronger so we can do more stuff. So apparently we issued commandments. Let's give us some more money. Katep uh, is severe. It's very ank. It's a ve he's got a very stern look about him. Right, let's get you back over there and we will go and see what's over here. What's this? Anything interesting? Um, cast sure. More money, heavy iron. Fine. Something down there. There's also something. Let's, let's go this way. We're going to grab this one. Basically, anything we can do to give ourselves a little bit more income just be very useful. What about if we... five? T okay, that's fine. We can tax ourselves there. I'm half tempted to get the... the extra growth, but... just don't think it's going to be optimal. The open graves would be quite nice, but we could get this... we could get the bone shaper. I mean, e either of those, it, it just lets us... I mean, it would mean that Katet, um, sorry, Hatmus could have some 
some actual good units in his army. And that would then be very, very useful. Let's hold off for the moment. I mean, we're making 90 gold a turn. Ka-ching! Um, but hopefully we can get some more doing these little bits and pieces. So Marathi's got at least two armies. I didn't quite see how strong they were. But I've got to assume she's got at least two of the buggers. And... She could declare war at any time. Assuming we're not already at war with her. I don't think we are. But I'm not 100%. That pop hollows back. Good. Great incantation of da da. Good. Let's grab that. Right. Uh, should we explore the islands? Let's explore the island. What we got? Okay. That's. I mean, I think we can also resolve that, can't we? I'll, I'll quick save it just in case. Yeah, that's fine. And I'll take more money. Okay, we got the King Nakash's Scorpion Legion. 2,500 and some experience. That's good. I like that. We'll head back head back home. We could go and grab this one down here as well. And that is an option. Let's bring you back over here. We're upgrading that. Right. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait because I want to build the sanctuary of Kemri. Because that's going to give us that increase of, um, or the ability to recruit Ushabti. Now, Ushabti are a friggin' amazing unit. They are one of the best units that the Tomb Kings can recruit. They just mint stuff. So, well worth having them on board. Absolutely worth it. How much is it to build that building? And can we get... That's 6k. So it's 3k to do that. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna save our monies because I just don't just not 100 percent sure that we'll be able to um Ooh. That's not bad. Mind you, reanimate is not bad either. I feel like I'm kind of missing out on giving him better spells, but not. I'm gonna. There's not much in in the Nehekar and I, I guess Restless Dead is quite nice, but like Reanimator then leads on to Sandstorm, Steed Reanimator, Tomb Protector, Tomb more Tomb Guard, and then the Lich Lords. And then more winds of magic. And sand, I mean the 30% reduction in cooldown to sandstorms really nice. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Because at this moment in time, keeping our skeletons together, probably the most important thing. More winds of magic would be nice. Lord recruit rank faction wide is quite nice. Plus the recruit rank for all units. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. We're going to want Ushabti, and I need to bring you up here. Because I'm wondering if there's Skaven in, in them thar hills. Potentially, I'm not. I know, I know Tretch starts around here somewhere, but I, I just haven't played the um, the Vortex campaign enough to know where factions start. Uh, let's cleanse corruption with you, because anything which reduce, reduces corruption at this moment in time is is a good thing. Okay, I'm going to go up and grab Tyrant Peak, and we're definitely going to get Ushabti, and I definitely want. I definitely want Katep to go... Okay, Bleak Hold's dead. That might mean Marathi's going to start moving in my direction now. That's not the end of the world. But I know one-on-one -on -one her armies are stronger than ours, which means I need to... I need to be ready. I need to be prepped for when she does rock up. Um... 
I'm not going to spend 700 and doobie doo on that. Okay. She does have two armies, but they're not very big. Okay, let's hop into Titan Peak for a turn. Let's do the same over here. Just to shore up that public order a little bit longer. Just to give it a little bit of a boost. I'm, I'm really tempted to start building buildings, but I know that's the wrong decision. I kind of want the vineyard as well, because that's going to let us make those... I mean, the only, the only problem is... The only problem is that when it comes down to it, like, having the Elixir of Might is nice, but we've really only got one Tomb Prince, so... Realistically, we're only going to be able to have one of them, because there's not much point... It's not much point... It's not much point slapping in what is effectively... I mean, it's, it's probably performance-enhancing drugs, right? Slapping that on a priest, is there? I mean, yeah, it's going to make him froth at the mouth. Or is it? Because obviously mummies don't generally have a lot of moisture content whatever either oh she's got three armies okay but she's not heading in my direction she's going the other way could we could we maybe try and like head her off Okay, so we've got a mausoleum. Good. That's 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 fun. Right, we definitely want Ushapti. Boff. Done. I would also like I would also like the tomb guard. However, that might not be I mean we, we need more money for that. Need more cash. Let's give okay, your tomb strike quite Quite a nice ability. Actually makes you kind of dangerous because Tomb Prince is a bit, bit weedy, to be honest. Um, we can bring you down here. Oh, fuck. Are we? Oh, no. Of course, they're rebels, aren't they? So they won't actually go on the attack. He says, I'm sure that that's true, but we'll assume that's the case. Okay, public order here is fine for the moment. Public order here is okay for five turns. We can go grab that, head back, be there. And then shore that back up. I mean, it should it should it should be getting better, right? Because the corruption's dropping three percent a turn. So at some point, public order is gonna gonna outweigh the um, public order reduction. Corruption here again, but that is reducing. So again, that's gonna be fine. Good. Okay. Well, let's move Hatmus northward because I would really like to grab Titan Peak before anyone else does. In the meantime, let's get Sun Scorched Bone because that's just too good not to have. I'm going to go down and grab. Um, okay, yeah, no, I'm not. Not interested in that. I'm, I'm wondering is. Because Marathi has to come across that causeway to get to the ancient city of Quintex. I'm wondering if maybe we can, like, lay an ambush for her. If, if most of her armies are over here, whether we can kind of cut her off and brutally murder her. Because if we can catch the Ancient City of Quintex, we get one of the books of Nagash. Now, admittedly, it's the shittest book. It's the one where he's probably doodled in the margins or something, like drawing little willies everywhere. But still, it's one of the books we need. Despite the best efforts of our chief necrotech, one of the tombs has started to sink back into sands once more before giving up its illustrious arcane secrets. If we don't act quickly to shore up its entrance, we risk losing everything. Growth or... Oh, always growth. Never sacrifice replenishment. Replenishment is too important. What we got? Um, mushroom stew, sure. Curse of cannibalism with mummies. Uh, sure, whatever. I said you encounter the high is not one of the crew. Yet they have gained generous but since the events. Okay, so apparently they ate each other, but being skeletons, not hundred percent sure how that works. I guess I guess we're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about it. I mean skeletons can't talk anyway. 
so that's fine. Right, so we've got this we've got this kind of like um, pathway through to the ancient city of Quintex here. So we could move once we've like secured. We could move Katep through, grab Iron Spike. What's the chaos corruption here? Okay, the problem is that's gonna cause us issues. Because we're going to take Chaos Corruption damage as we march through. Which is less ideal. Do I want to get the Crypt Barracks? Now, the problem is the Royal Barracks are super expensive. However. For the mortuary, however, Katep has... Construction cost minus 10%. Now, normally that's not something I really give a flying toss about. But I mean, saving me 400 monies, actually, pretty big deal, because that's four turns of income. So it could be worth waiting until Katep's here to actually do the building, because we need to get him here anyway for the Ushabti, don't we? So that's something we have to do. Dead should remain so. Bit rude. I wonder if... We can... Like, these guys down here, right? Have we met Skeggy? No. Huh. Spellcaster. It's actually going up. I wonder if we could go and hit these guys. Right, because then we could sack the Ziggurat of Dawn and that would give us a nice big boost of income. It would mean killing a bunch of rats, but the likelihood is they're just a bunch of clan rats and Skaven slaves, in which case shouldn't actually be that difficult, in theory. In theory. In theory. Okay, yes, I think that's what we're going to do. Right. We're going to hold off doing anything. No, no building for the moment, because I want to try and save my money for what? But basically, the sooner we get higher quality units, the better off we are. Because if the enemies start coming at us with um, black guards, and we've only still got skeletons, we're a bit, and this is to put it lightly, completely fucked. So... Sea legs! Good, that's a nice nice skill to have. Good, everyone's got sea legs apparently. Good stuff. Right. Yes, I didn't think they'd have much. Right, we can bop that. Problem is it'll probably won't be much money anyway. Um, in fact, it's no money. Uh, oh well. I mean, you know, it's better than nothing, and we got some experience, and let's face it, that was a nice easy win, so fine, I'll take it. We could always do this, that gives you Shabti more, although that would be nice as well. Hmm. We're not going to be able to recruit Tomb Guard. Okay, let's go for, for Geheb, the God of Earth, because then we can head back to Grey Rock Point, which will rebel in four turns, but that's okay. Sort that problem out. We can go and grab Tyrant Peak. Let's go and do that. Do I search? Do I do a little search of the ruins? Sure. Oh, fucking puzzles. Solitude is always desired. Is it? It's not the colour, is it? So there's only... There's two, there's two of those. There's two of those. There's two of... There's two of... Every, wait, no. There's only one of those. So it's that one. Bosh. Sorted it. So we completed a quest. And also, got a new quest. Wait, what? And we got a war banner and a thousand big ones. Nice. Was that a quest? We, oh, we have the quest for the Lich Pro... Oh. I'd completely missed that. Move any character to Iron Spike. Deep beneath the ruins, Katep finds himself in the maze of bone-strewn catacombs. At its focus, he stands door... He stands door bearing a weeping eye sigil. Behind it lies a hidden library, the final resting place of some Druki sorcerer. Tyrant's shock. The shelves around the bones are stacked with mortuary cult tombs. Have the Dark Elves truly been dabbling in the arc arts of resurrection? This demands further inquiry. Katet must know more. An ancient map on the crumbling desk marks the location of a city and a sister library. 
Okay, that's actually really useful because we've got you right here. Bosh. Done. Perform the Great Incantation of Kassar. Katep enters the Great Library and scours it for further clues. Among the array of magical texts, bestries, and codices, one tomb stands out for its more recent binding. Katep is staggered to find within a page of new liturgy, capable of binding a soul to a living host. There is some risk to both participants, of course, but could this be the answer? A way to renew Setra and others beside to true life. Surely this would restore Katep's honour and station. Divining an appropriate site for liturgy will require a powerful expenditure of energy, and Nehekaran rites should suffice. Can we do that? We could. It is 3k though. It is 3k though. Right, but we've got... Do we, do we just go ahead and do it? Thing is, I don't think we're like ready to do a quest battle at the moment anyway. So it's not really worth it, I don't think. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring Katep back. Uh, Shore up the public order over here. Start doing some building over here. Get in fact, what we need to do is get Katet back into the Ashen Coast so that we can then upgrade these buildings. Give him Ushabti as well. That will be quite nice. Good unit for him. Make his army a bit stronger. And um, then we can get Tyrant Peak and all that kind of good stuff. But that is going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of the Katep campaign.